Hello everybody, and this is Craig from Nine Volt Games, and today, I think I'm starting to wear this hat out. Today is the fourth day of the Mortal Kombat Hype, hype Week on uh, Nine Volt Games channel, and today I'm doing Mortal Kombat 4. This is the N64 version. I am playing the PC version, totally not a MAME version, obviously, because I have the selection. It's a legit PC version. Um, it's just the light version. I had tried to record this video yesterday. I had such a hard time with the TV contrasting. I had to make a custom setting on my TV <laughs> so that when I actually go to play it to show you guys later, I got to switch it back. So that'll take like a second. But let's talk Mortal Kombat 4. Mortal Kombat 4, 1997. Let's be me, Craig Hill. 1997. I was what, 12? 12 years old. Actually, I wasn't even 12 when this came out. I was 11 because this came out, I want to say this came out in October. I should look some of this shit up. But anyways, Mortal Kombat 4 was the second in the series of the games that I like to attribute as the last arcade push in America. At least the last games that I went to the arcade to play. Now, when I was able to ride my bike out, you know, five miles, and it was totally acceptable when I was a kid, there was a place that was about five miles, and it was a bike ride, and me and my cousin Jay used to do it all the time. It was called... 10 pins, it was a bowling alley, but it also had a pretty decent sized arcade. They were one of the first people to get Mortal Kombat 4. I was there all the fucking time to play Mortal Kombat 4. Let's say something right now that's going to cause some controversy. I know I'm in hype week for Mortal Kombat X, and I've been so excited about these videos. I've been kind of dreading doing this one, because Mortal Kombat 4 is the worst out of all the Mortal Kombats. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I'm staring at two right now that you're probably going to say, what about that one? Wait till I get to it. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the worst Mortal Kombat in terms of story or character or anything. I'm saying it's the worst Mortal Kombat because it's the it's the one Mortal Kombat that's not really a fighting game. Pretty much everybody has the same fucking moves and they're just swapped. Like everybody's got it's not hard. I'll show you when I'm playing it. It's not hard to play. You can pick this up bash mash buttons and you can be as good as the other person. It doesn't really take skill. And I don't think it's because they didn't carry over a lot with the with the last one. This one, it's it's more of an arcade game, less of a fighting game. Like you can go out with friends and you can have fun with Mortal Kombat Four. We've done it. M me and my cousin Jay rented this shit on P on PS One. <laughs> what the fuck was that? On PS One, and uh, I even had Dan over one night and we were playing my N sixty four version of it. And even he had to admit, as much as he hates Mortal Kombat, he had fun playing it. But we we all agreed, it is not a good fighting game. Um, it's not something you would ever see in a tournament, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, when I went and played this in arcades, there was no line like there was for it all the other Mortal Kombats, which was sad. And which is, you know, besides the death of arcades in America, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why this was the last, this was it. This was the last Mortal Kombat that was in arcades. And the four games I was talking about when I said that the last four games that I associate with the death of, of um, arcades once again not because they were terrible just the last run of games that i remember and they all came without uh within two years these are the last things i played at uh in arcades it was blitz blitz came out a few months before this you could play as raiden remember that shit um mortal kombat 4 gauntlet legends and hydro thunder and those are the last four big midway games i played and they were all arcade fun, but they were all minimalist. You know what I mean? Blitz was a minimalist football game where you could just have fun hurting another player. You didn't have the depth of Madden. Um, Gauntlet was, you know, a light version of a dungeon crawler. And while it was fun, it could be ruined by that one person who fucking egg 911. You know what I'm talking about? The chicken. I was that guy once who jumped in with a bunch of randos and uh, they got real disappointed. And then uh, Hydro Thunder was a minimalist racing game, but that shit was fun as fuck. And then Mortal Kombat was a minimalist, or Mortal Kombat 4 was a minimalist fighting game, but it was still fun. Um, so in terms of actual, like, you know, fighting game history, it's probably best to exclude 4, as well as one other one when I get to it. <laughs> but, like I said, it was still fun to play. Um, one of the upsides is there was a couple characters in here that were brought in that are now fan favorites and people want them in MKX so bad. Um, for some reason, the one fucking character out of here that they gave us is someone we don't want. At least I don't want. I think Tanya is one of the worst goddamn characters in this game. 
I don't understand. Who asked for her? Who did that and why? She's terrible. I would have rather have Serena, by the way. Because in the timeline, Serena, you know, Mortal Kombat Mythologies, she would have fit better. You know, with the whole Shinnok and Quan Chi and the amulet shit. Serena. Why Tanya? Anyways. Rico, one of my favorite characters, which they ended up going through th uh, other 3D games, making it weird. They made, they made him fucking nutty. So they kind of killed him for me. But it's too bad because I thought Rico was an awesome person. Rico should have been an MKX. He should have been the person who took took over Outworld after Shao Kahn died. Considering he was the general of the fucking army. Anyways. Uh, and then the other... See, Rico. And then the, uh, the other fan favorite that people really wanted to see in MKX was Fujin. And uh, we didn't see any Fujin. So... You know, as far as the you know lore and story goes, it has its place, but it's not one of the greatest fighting games. I'm gonna play a little match for you, and it would look the same with any character. The only thing that was like, you know, they tried to make it into a 3D game, but it wasn't a true three a uh, uh, 3D fighting game. Did I say that right? I don't know why. It wasn't a true th th fuck, a true 3D fighting game. That was the next video I'm gonna do. Um, so, like I said, I think this is the weakest entry uh, out of the. This is the weakest entry fighting wise out of the whole series. It is not the weakest point of Mortal Kombat, which we are going to get to because, uh, incidentally, the weakest point, I believe, both of them <laughs> are in the next video. I would show you the cover, but it's you're on top of it right now. All right, let's do a match. It's Sam Summer, by the way. Ding, ding. Let's do a match with, uh... Noob Cybot, eh? Noob Cybot is just a palette swap of Rico. Let's see if I get it. Come, come, come. Up, up. Left. Maybe? I hope. Otherwise, I get Rico, I guess. It shows Rico. Damn it, I got Rico. And I'm getting beat up. Hey, we'll do Rico anyways. I don't give no shits. Get over here. No, oh, I'm gonna throw you over there. Rico wins. Let me back out. Get my face. As you can see, that is uh, the famed noob cybot move that everybody hated for MK9, by the way. I feel like this was the fatality game. You know what I mean? Like... People only wanted to, uh, hold on, bah. Bah. I'm gonna do that fatality again. Rico wins. All the, all the combos are the same, watch. If I can even get one. All right, bitch. All right, bitch. That high punch, high punch, high kick, high kick is the same for everybody. Do it again. I love it. That never get old to me. All right. Oh, well, so like I said, you know, I, I'm not so I'm not so excited for this game as I am for uh, you know playing the other ones. But ah, fuck you. Oh, hi. Not so excited for Mortal Kombat 4 as I will be for the other ones. Uh, I'm going to be doing Deadly Alliance tomorrow. I will be... How's that? <laughs> I will be way more excited to do Deadly Alliance. I'm sorry. I just... I, I can't get hyped up for Mortal Kombat 4. I can't. I associate it with too many bad things. Like the... Well, I can't really say that. There's another game on here that's really going to... 
make you go woo. But uh, no, Mortal Kombat Four is, is a game that I associate with you know the last breaths of the arcade in America, because there's only so many times you can recreate Street Fighter, and the fact that you know once Dreamcast came out, which was Mortal Kombat Gold, by the way, we released Mortal Kombat Gold, which is a fucking mess. Um, once once Dreamcast really came out, and then after that was a PS2, like, what's the fucking point of having an arcade when you can have an arcade perfect version of a game at home? Even when the technology in the arcade's crawling, you can have these multiplayer experiences and they can look very well, you know, as well as the arcade or, you know, close to it. WF. Um, I've heard that so many fucking times. Um, you know, you can have those experiences at home. And I think largely, uh, GoldenEye started making it so uh, I really think GoldenEye contributed to the death of arcades in America. It's like, why are you going to go out? Just let me shooting light out of my mouth. Why are you going to go out and pay quarters when you can just go to a friend's house and you can all sit around TV, four people at one time, and just fucking bang out in a game? Eat chips. Steal your parents' beer. Smoke some pot. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So, tomorrow, Deadly Alliance, uh, I will be a little more excited about. I wasn't a huge fan of. And then we got, where is it? Deception. Which I had to order online for this, by the way, because my Deception is fucking gone. Good thing it's like a fucking $2 game. Uh, yeah, we'll do Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon. The true 3D games are next. I got a lot of shit to talk about that. Thank you guys for watching.